This video is going to show you how to solder Dean's connectors, also referred to as Dean's, Dean's Ultra Plugs, or T-Plugs. You're probably wondering, why should I use a Dean's plug when I have a perfectly good Tamiya connector on my Airsoft gun? There's been a lot of research on forums like Airsoft Mechanics stating that the Dean's plug have less resistance, helping your current flow, blah 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 blah. I just like to use them because they're quick, convenient, and easy, and they don't break down like the Tamiya connectors do. Some of the things you're going to need for this project are a Dean's plug, a battery or connector cable, some shrink wrap, a soldering iron, some solder, and a lighter or a heat gun. For this project, I'm going to be making a small Tamiya to Dean's connector adapter for a charger for a friend of mine. But the same process pretty much applies for batteries or whatever you may be attaching a Dean's to. You want to make sure and remember that if you're soldering a Dean's to a battery, you want to always use the female side of the plug to the battery. But since I'm making an adapter to a battery, I'm going to put the male plug on the end of the Tamiya connector. Hopefully I don't need to go into detail to explain to you which one is the male or the female, but here's a picture for reference. When you first plug in your soldering iron, you want to put a small bead of solder on the tip of the iron. This is called tinning the tip and it prevents the tip from oxidizing. Next you will want to go ahead and prepare your wires. Go ahead and strip the ends of the wires. About an eighth to a quarter of an inch is all that's necessary. If you are connecting a Dean's to a battery, I recommend that you only cut and strip one wire at a time, so that way you do not accidentally arc the wires. Next you will want to hold the wire to the soldering iron. Place the solder on top of the wire and wait until the wire heats up enough to melt the solder. You'll be able to physically see the solder melt into the wire. Now that your wire is prepped, you'll want to go ahead and get the Deans ready to receive the wire. You'll see in the video a device that helps hold things for soldering. You don't need one of these, but it sure does make it easier. You can usually pick them up for around $10 at your local hardware store. On the Deans connector, you'll see a plus and a negative symbol at the terminals that accept the wire. Always double check and make sure that you're connecting the right adapters. You don't ever want to cross your polarities. Using the same processes with the wires, you want to place the iron underneath the tab and the solder on top of the tab and wait for the solder to melt. You only need a small amount to add to the tab. You want to make sure not hold the iron to the Dean's plug for too long. Even if you're not touching the plastic part, the iron will actually heat the metal to the point where the plastic will begin to melt and this will change the pitch of the tab and so when you connect them it will be very very difficult or two Dean's plugs will no longer connect. Now we are ready to attach the wires. You want to make sure and always, always, always put your heat shrink on the wire before you attach it to the tab. Because obviously, once it's on the tab, you can't apply it anymore unless you desolder it, pull it off, then put it on. It's no fun. Same process as before. Hold the iron underneath the tab, melt the solder on the tab, and it will melt in with the solder on the wire. You can actually see the solder on the wire melting in with the solder on the tab. This is when you know you're going to have a good connection. Remove the iron from the tab, but hold the wire in place until the solder cools. This should only take a few seconds, and then you'll have a good, strong connection. Remember to not forget your heat shrink, and then go ahead and rinse and repeat for the negative wire as well. Finally, you're going to want to add some heat to your heat shrink to go ahead and protect the connectors. You can buy a heat gun or you can use a lighter. Either work just fine. Once you're all done with that, you have successfully soldered Deans to whatever connector or battery you may need. 